Hi there, welcome to the tutorial for the dismemberment and bone break system. So what we're going to look at in this video is the dismemberment process, how we can make that a bit more pretty. At the moment there is a sample particle that spawns on each of the dismemberments. I'm not a particle guy, so what I'm going to do for this example, I'm going to use the FX files blood VFX pack and use some of the examples in here just to, to get us going. I'm going to put the link to this pack on the comments below or the information for the video um, just so you can get access to, to find it on the marketplace um, there's plenty of other packs out there as well but in my opinion this is probably one of the best so let's look at how the dismemberment actually looks at the moment so let's start playing so at the moment we've got the the sample splash and we also have the area of the body hanging off here once the bone's been dismembered. Okay. I'm sure we can work with that. So let's have a wee look. So just say for the shoulder, let's just go to blueprints and then we're going to go to the gibbs. So this is going to be spawners, mesh gibbs, and we're just going to go for, just do the one at the moment, just so you can see how it works. Upper arm right. So let's look at this one, open full blueprint editor. Yep, so this is the shoulder, so we're just going to work on the right shoulder here. So if we have a wee look at the file effects blood pack, and then we go to the particles, And let's just find blood drip. Let's see what this one looks like. That's a big drip. Let's find something else. Blood flow. Oh, that's the stuff. Right. Bang that in there. Let's have a bit of fun with this now. Now, if we go to the right shoulder and that's spawned. Come on. There we go. Got the arms wrong. Somewhat comical amount of blood, but I am loving that. So let's have a look at the data table. Sorry, that was just for fun. So inside the dismemberment pack, under blueprints, we'll have a data table in here, which is the amputate bone amputated mesh data table. Now in here, what we have is the character class. So for example, in this, in this example, we have green blood, red blood, just to show the difference. But we have the dis damaged parent, which spawns the lower mesh and upper mesh. So if the lower mesh isn't there, it will only spawn the upper part of the arm. If the lower, if the forearms there, it'll spawn the upper and lower arm combined together when it uh, creates the mesh. Um, but you have to pre-configure all of them. So particles. So this is the particle that spawns off. I want to have a wee look at this. So let's bring this up. You can edit this in Excel. So let's go for, it was right arm we were working on. Right arm, upper right leg, right arm, upper. So let's have a look at the particle we currently have in place. Yes, I'm not sticking with that one. And let's go to the file effects blood pack and just find another particle. What we want something that is what I'm talking about. Yeah, one of them. Let's just stick that bad boy in. So Let's do a arterial swipe. Now let's try that again. See what we get now. Again, a bit over dramatic, but you just get the point. That's how easy it is to swap out the blood system there. And just for fun, let's just change out the head one because this one looks quite good. I want some sort of spray. Oh, 
Oh, that's the one. Arterial loop. So what we're going to do is, realistically, we should change the, um, the setting to... No. Let's go. That was too quick. Let's try that again. Oh, love it. So, again, thanks very much for watching. Um, see you in the next video.